There's news, there's sense and there's nuisance. This show is all about... क्या ये बिक गया है एनडी टीवी ये मैं क्या सुन रही हूँ The big story of this week on TV news is actually about TV news. The Adani takeover of NDTV. जैसे ही ये news break हुई, Twitter did what it does best: crack jokes. क्या अब NDTV नरेंद्र दामोदर दास TV बन जाएगा? What is a procedure to open YouTube channel? भक्त मंडली के लब पे सबसे important सवाल था कि अब रविश का क्या होगा? भक्त यूनिवर्स में खुशी ही खुशी का माहौल था अब आया ऊंट पहाड़ के नीचे टू ऑल ऑफ दिस रवीश हैड वन थिंग टू से माननीय जनता मेरे इस्तीफे की बात ठीक उसी तरह अफवाह है जैसे प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी मुझे इंटरव्यू देने के लिए तैयार हो गए और अक्षय कुमार बम्बैया आम लेकर गेट पर मेरा इंतजार कर रहे हैं आपका रवीश कुमार दुनिया का पहला और सबसे महंगा जीरो टीआरपी एंकर नाउ एज ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग दिस शो इट शुड बी नोटेड दैट अदानी डज नॉट ओन अ सिंगल शेयर इन एन डी But this whole power move, and a power move it is, raises some very important questions for the news media in general and TV news in particular. Is Ambani, Puri, Jain, Chandra, Sharma ki dunya mein ek Adani aa jaye, to kya badal jayega? Bahut kuch. We'll come back to that later. But first up, a primer. I know a lot of you are confused ki bhai ya hua kya hai. And trust me, it is complicated. It's a bit like Succession and Game of Thrones all rolled into one. But stay with me and remember one company that we'll talk about again and again and again. The company is called Vishwa Pradhan Commercial Private Limited. Nothing to do with Vishwa Guru. कहानी 2009 से शुरू होती है when the holding company of NDTV, RRPR, short of Radhika Roy Pranoy Roy. Secured an interest-free loan of rupees four hundred crore from the company we mentioned above, Vishwa Pradhan. News Laundry was the first to break the story back in two thousand fifteen because it was a very complicated and odd loan to say the least. The loan from Vishwa Pradhan was actually a loan from Mota Bhai's company, not this Mota Bhai, the one sitting in Mumbai. Here's how it worked: Reliance Ventures gave the loan to Shinano Retail Limited. Which gave the loan to Vishwa Pradhan, which then gave the loan to RRPR. All these companies were linked to Mukesh Bhai, Mukesh Ambani ji. The most important fact: the loan by Vishwa Pradhan to RRPR could be converted into hundred percent equity any time it wanted. So Vishwa Pradhan was essentially a shell company that would exercise direct control over RRPR any time it wanted. Remember, RRPR holds 29% share in NDTV. This means all these years, the greatest global living legend had considerable influence in NDTV. He is the pivotal force behind a global business giant, often called a visionary, now a living legend, Mukesh Ambani. I want to thank uh, NDTV. Pranay Roy and his team for this recognition. So thank you, Pranay. How inspiring! So now back to our story. Vishwa Pradhan, basically a Reliance front, through 99% ownership of RRPR, could be the sole owner of 29% of NDTV any time it wanted. Now, somewhere in 2012, Vishwa Pradhan's ownership moves from Reliance Group to companies linked to their associate Mahindra Nahata. Who is a board member of Reliance Jio? So now, VCPL owes its rupees four hundred crore to a company linked to Friends of Reliance. Now is when the real Game of Thrones shit happens. Adani buys Vishwa Pradhan wholesale from Mahindra Nahata linked companies. Vishwa Pradhan, जैसे ही Adani के पास आता है, he says, we would like to convert our loan of four hundred crore to ninety nine percent equity of RRPR, please, and. We now have 29% stake in NDTV, so now we'd also like to get 26% more. 
Adani has kicked off an open offer, which means shareholders in NDTV, other than Radhika Roy and Pranoy Roy, can sell their shares to Adani Ji. If Adani Ji gets his 26% shares from other shareholders of NDTV, and you add to it the 29% share he already has thanks to Vishwa Pradhan, it takes up his shares in NDTV to 55%. There's more to this saga. One of the shareholders, which has 9% stake in NDTV, is an investment company called LTS Investment Fund, which, wait for it, has 98% investment in four companies in Adani. Matlab, dono ki business interests same hai. So, Adani plus Adani friendly LTS ka collective share is already more than Radhika and Pranay Roy in NDTV. This is some serious level Game of Thrones shit. I told you so. But wait, all is not done and dusted yet. The Roy's may push back and take Adani back to the original terms and conditions of the deal with Vishwa Pradhan. Which said, It clearly states that BCPL and its affiliates cannot purchase shares of NDTV, which will increase their holding to more than 26% in NDTV, without the consent of the promoters. For now, the Roy's have asked for more time before handing over RRPR lock, stock and barrel to Adani. Aage kya hoga? Either Roy's will transfer the 99% equity to Vishwa Pradhan, now owned by Adani, and that will kick off the open offer, or the Roy's will refuse and we will see a legal battle. Long story short, from an indirect influence of Ambani, NDTV could move to a total control by Adani. Adani ji's deep friendship with the PM is no secret. Kisi aur ka pata nahi, lekin 2014 ke baad, Adani ji ke din achhe se behtareen se rangeen hote gaye. There's one more thing. When a big businessman buys media, he's usually not doing it to keep journalism alive. The idea usually is to peddle influence and impress the powers that be. Matlab, ab Mukesh bhai ka news network hi dekh lo. Aman ki no aasha se leke Amish se leke Anand Narsiman tak. Sab prime time mein Modi bhakti mein lage hoi hai. Narendra Modi aaj us jaga par te, jahaan ki jahaan se unki dahar chin ko zarur surai di gai hoki. For the last eight years, he has championed, he has shouldered the burden as the Pradhan Sevak of 130 crore plus people. Modi ka shasan, gharib ko muftarashan, ayodhya mein Prabhu Shri Ram ko asan. If and when Adani enters this game of shouty debates, Hindu-Muslim for TRPs. Patthar bazi se ni hoti, jo aapke ladele nikalte patthar maarne, usse ni hoti bezti. Big boss type reality show cockfights. He can only beat the competition by becoming like them. The one big lesson in all of this is that when the media has to turn to big business or big government to bail them out, you cannot hope to get a truly independent media. Until and unless you step up and pay for the news you consume, musibak ke waqt, financial tangi ke waqt, Big media ko humesha big business ya big government ka hi darwaza khat katana padega. Aur businessman or powerful neta pehle apna faida sochte journalism ya public service ka nahi. That is the one reason why at News Laundry we've always insisted that people should pay to keep news free. We're a very small news company with about 60 people and all, matlab sab ko mila ke. But we try and bring you ground reports, podcasts and interviews. If you go on our website, you'll find a report on how 30 years later a son helped his mother nab her rapists. You'll find a story on the whole NDTV Adani saga. Investigations on how Ramdev acquired big land and became a big business man. You'll find podcasts on RSS. This website is completely ad-free. No ads by Modi ji, Kejriwal ji, Adani ji or Ambani ji. And when we need help to continue to do the work we do, we just go to our subscribers. We ask you, the people, to pay so we can do ground reports, podcasts, bring you shows like Nuisance and Tippany. Pas 300 rupay mein aap ban sakte hain News Laundry subscriber and you can do your bit to keep news media free. We need your support now more than ever. The television news landscape may change forever if this deal does come through. And then you know that we'll need to do more dhulai than ever. So if you like what we do, don't forget to support News Laundry pay to keep news free. Chalo, what business business ke liya? Let's talk about this week's most jabaz courageous reporter reporting, sir. 
India today sent its fearless journalist Commander Gao to ground zero. Taiwan will continue to party hard. Hey, you went all the way to report on Taiwan-China tensions to show us a party. Taiwan will continue to party hard. Trust Commander Gao to go to the ground zero where military drills are taking place and fighter jets are being paraded to report on a party about to take place in front of the presidential palace. Watching Commander Gao on ground zero, we thought in public interest we must issue a PS. How not to ground report from ground zero. Rule number one, don't be an Instagram influencer. The moment we got off the aircraft, the first thing that was done was we were told to take a Taiwan chip, a mobile phone SIM card. Now that is used by Taiwan to track all guests, especially as a COVID prevention mechanism. Oh, very nice. What is that like? It's almost like being in a hospital. Really? What else did you get to eat? Or kya mila khane mein? There is well, some kind of green peas, noodles, carrots, uh, chicken, and egg. So, and and I see some some greens, some kind of spinach. So that's a that's a meal. Yummy. Or kya kya khaya? Tell. Juice uh, in 24 hours. Really? Juice too? Now we're just waiting for Commander Gao to take us through his outfit of the day. Rule number two, if you want to be taken seriously, don't report from a party venue while you're trying to report on tensions between two countries. Getting up for a party, party hard. They will also have a party here. All this preparation for a party is on this party that's happening here. A party to keep the morale high. He doesn't just go to one party venue. He goes to two party venues. Thousands of people have gathered here in Taipei, in Taiwan, to enjoy an evening of jazz concert. Also a jazz concert. Is this going to make it to page three or not? Rule number three, don't chase random people whose language you don't speak. Sir, are you worried? Are you worried about what's happening at the borders? Let me try. Uh, sir, are you worried about what's happening at the borders? No. So, you know, they just smile. Most people in Taiwan generally don't speak English, you know. So there's a bit of an issue there. Rule number four, don't go restaurant hopping. Walking along Taiwan streets, we saw the Indian tricolor. And we saw a sign that said, Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav Har Ghar Tiranga. And that attracted our attention. In Taiwan, while reporting on cross-country tensions with China, he doesn't just go to any restaurant. He goes to an Indian restaurant. Because India first. For some bizarre reason, there's also a close-up of Piaz being cut as a B-roll. Asu <laughs> And the important questions he asks. How many Indians in, uh, work in your restaurant and how many foreigners? Ah, uh, Gaurav, Taiwanese people would not be foreigners in Taiwan. You are the foreigner there. You, the Indian. Inside, the situation is completely normal. We are all living our life uh, happily and normally. But yeah, of course, people, those who are sitting outside, they see the news or something. They have this impact, you know, that life has been captured and they are reluctant to come to Taiwan for sure. Wonder who these news people are. Rule number five, don't lie, yaar. India Today, the only channel on Ground Zero. Maybe reporters from News 18 and Vion weren't in the same quarantine center as Savant, so he may have missed them. But anyway, yaar, vacation hi karna tha, to border tension ka bahana leke Taiwan jane ki kya zarurat thi? Chutti leke shimna chale jate? That's all the nuisance we have for you this week. We'll be back next week. Until then, stay mad. That's the only way. And remember, if you don't step in and pay to keep news free, then someone like Adani ji win. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. I hope uh, you were able to understand the whole NDTV Adani complex story through this video. I hope that was easy to understand. If you want to read this story, you can go on our website. You can read the story in both Hindi and English. You can share it with your friends. Please share this video with as many people as possible so that we get more views, more people discover News Laundry. It's very important that more and more people get to know about NewsLaundry.com and the kind of work we do. So please be our ambassadors. And of course, support us. Pay to keep news free.